Hi, I'm Mikey Dredd. Welcome to Bowling Science. Today, we're going to talk about using surface on long oil patterns. Today's episode is sponsored by the Bowling Science Store on Teespring. Here, you'll find these awesome Got Surface t-shirts along with some other designs and look forward to more in the future. Since beginning our discussions about surface on the channel, a lot of people have reached out to me asking how to get their own pads. Well now, I've got a fun new way to do that for you and help support the channel at the same time. If you send in donations of $10, $13, or $15 to the channel, I will send you pads in the mail. Hit me up on Facebook for more information. You can send the donations to Cash App or PayPal and make sure you include your address either in a Facebook message or in the notes of your donation. Now on to the show. Today, I'm on the PBA Scorpion pattern using my conspiracy theory. It's currently got a little bit of lane shine on it, and we're going to see how that does on this 42-foot pattern. I'm able to play 14 at the arrows and get the ball to about 13 or so at the back of the lane. But with this surface, the ball doesn't begin hooking to almost 50 feet. It gives the ball very little time to finish transitioning through the pins. This results in lackluster pin carry and a lot of deflection. But I fear not as the ball goes right off the back of the pin deck. This ball features a textured pearl cover stock, so adding surface should dramatically improve my results. Let's go ahead and start with the gray pad. We're going to be able to get a surface of about 1000 to 1200 depending on the amount of pressure you apply. This should allow the ball to start to slow down a little sooner and bring the break point closer to me, giving the ball a better chance to finish through the pins. Let's take a look. Wow, dramatic improvement through the pins. I only have to move my feet a board or two to the left, and I'm able to play the same target in the mid lane. But even at this surface, anything that leaks right of 12 is probably not going to see the head pin anytime soon. With this surface preparation, the ball starts to read almost 10 feet sooner, allowing it to be more forward off the back of the pattern and giving it a stronger roll through the pins. This dramatically improves the carry when you have limited angles on these long patterns and have to play with your break point further inside. Being able to get your feet a couple boards left and bounce it off the mid lane from the same spot allows you to create more angle through the front of the pattern and will eventually lead to more room. You can see here that without making a dramatic change to the amount of hook, using a gray pad can dramatically improve the shape of your break point on these long patterns. But gray pads are just the beginning. Let's grab our green pad and start to sand the ball getting an effective grit near five or six hundred. Textured pearls can create twice as much hook difference when sanded compared to traditional cover stocks. So let's take a look at what that looks like with the green pad on the lanes. After moving a couple boards further left, I'm able to play across 17 at the arrows to the same break point of 13 down lane. As I opened up the front of the lane, I started to see even more continuation through the pins and on the back of the pattern. As I continue to get deeper and have to feed the ball further right, the added surface helps me feel more secure in the mid lane. I'm no longer seeing balls skate if I accidentally get it to 12. The conspiracy theory that we're throwing today is the same one from the pin down video and is drilled 30 by 4 by 70. I like that kind of layout on this pattern when I have enough surface because it allows me to control my angles on the back and not have to play something too sharp. You'll see here in the overlay that I'm able to still play the back of the pattern at about 13, but my ball does get to 12 in the mid lane with this added surface and that allows the layout to start working and lay the ball down for optimal roll. To further this effect and create the optimal look, we're going to grab our 320 grit burgundy pad. This is the second strongest pad that I have in my bag, but combined with this textured pearl cover stock gives me plenty of hook and plenty of early roll. For me, this is a very comfortable angle through the front of the lane. My feet are now eight boards further left compared to the lane shine, but I'm allowed to create way more shape using this optimal surface. Now that I'm further inside, close to the fourth arrow, I'm actually able to create a little bit of room inside as well. Shots like this one that don't get to the break point till down lane are still able to control the mid lane and not overhook on this flatter pattern where normally misses left would be punished. 
Man, I really love to see how Dynamicore helps drive the pins through the back of the deck. Let's see what the total difference was between the burgundy pad surface and our stock finish. The surface allowed me to get an arrow deeper in the front of the lane and keep the angles through the front open while controlling the back end with strong roll. This type of shape gives me the best versatility and a great chance to score on a tough long pattern such as this PBA Scorpion pattern. Here you'll see the triple overlay of our stock finish alongside the green pad and the burgundy pad. The balls with the rougher grits slow down faster and you'll see they're actually further back on the lane by the time they get to the back end in comparison. For a ball to change direction, it must slow down, and this is a great demonstration of that. I hope you enjoyed today's study of surface using textured pearls on long, tough sport patterns. If you want to grab some pads for yourself, let me know. Just send a donation to the Cash App or PayPal that I have linked in the description and you can get four pads of any combination from burgundy to white for just $10. And for $13, you can get one of each going all the way to the 220 grit brown pad. If you're happy with your current pads but just want to try the 220 grit brown pad, I can get you those for $15 in a pack. Just let me know and also check out the t-shirts that go along with it from Team Scotchbrite over at the Teespring store. Enjoy your day and go throw some strikes with surface, even on long oil patterns.